Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. Um, and I apologize for last episode's... I'll just seem to glitch out there a bit. Um, like I said, I apologize for my uh, previous episode when I was actually constructing the nether portal. No, I mean when I was actually... Um, placing wool so that uh, and lava so that it would light uh, at the end of the episode for some reason my microphone was not on so uh, I filmed without actual commentary uh, you can hear the sound of the um, breaking blocks and placing blocks and everything but you can actually hear my narration but um what I basically said is that um, right here uh, I placed uh, a lava source right here um, and I took the lava source and um, smelted uh and i mean cast another this piece of obsidian right here to create the nether portal uh, i also took the lava bucket from that base over there from that because i have two cobblestone generators i have a cobblestone generator over there and a cobblestone uh well in that uh, temporary base over there that I uh, don't use anymore and I also have a cobblestone generator in this house right here so I just ran over to that village over there grabbed um, grabbed that lava source came over here and I'm now gonna use this lava source to light the portal so um, and I did speed up the footage of me running to the villages and basically I had to go through so many villages before I found a blacksmith like it was just completely crazy like I mean complete and utter craziness it was um it wasn't a very good exp it was a fairly good experience i think though because i was able to reach many many villages and i think i ran for two days straight um and unfortunately i placed some blocks right here and placed some lava to light it and unfortunately it was about to light the uh, nether portal but for some reason the lava kind of poured out onto there and a slime glitched out so a large slime kind of pushed me into the lava so I died and actually lost many of my items but thank god I did not actually lose my bucket so uh, because if we, do, if we did lose our bucket then we'd have to go and search another village to get more iron again or just attempt to kill uh, attempt to kill um attempt to kill a zombie that will drop some iron as a rare drop for us which will probably not happen so um let me just place that over here wow that's a lot of uh items there um now one thing that i'm gonna go and check is that oh yes we got a golden chest plate okay let me just eat this rotten flesh right now because i don't really have access to any other food um that's also why rotten flesh is pretty awesome. Uh, now let's just, let me just check to make sure that we didn't really lose any items we got from the village. Uh, well, we got those iron bars down and some iron sword. Um, we did get a few items from the village. Yes, all these books I got from the village too. I think the saddle I might have gotten from the village. Um, yeah, I'm fairly sure because... I don't really remember exactly what I had in my inventory, and like I said before, a slime kind of pushed me onto the lava right here um, after I burned up. Um, most of the items actually fell inside the lava, but some items fell onto a block without uh, lava, and thank god I did not lose too much items. I did not lose my bucket, which most importantly, uh, I think I did lose some cobblestone. I'm not really even sure what I lost. I should go back to my... Uh, footage and check out exactly the items that i had in my inventory before i die just so i can confirm what i lost and what i did not lose so uh but nevertheless in this episode we are actually going to the nether finally what a long wait um i'm gonna go get some more um wool from her here there we go i got a stack of wool right here which is great uh now i'm thinking of a different way how i can um light the nether portal without actually causing the lava to spill over uh so one thing that i thought up of is that actually i'm gonna have uh i'm going to have um i might have the lava right over here and then cover the lava with a wool piece right here. Uh, and that should light this. Um, it should either light this piece. And then after, hopefully, it lights this piece first before it lights this piece. Because that way, we need that kind of uh, flame blade to light the nether portal. Um, 
it might take a while, I don't know, but that's gonna be my method. Let's hope that we don't lose this uh, lava source because it's gonna suck, but uh, thankfully I do have an auxiliary lava source right here. And as you can see, this is... Uh, well, actually, it looks like I did take the lava source from here. Uh, well, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna run real quick to the... Uh, no, actually... Okay, are you kidding me? I have no carrots because that would really suck if I don't have any carrots. Um... Oh my god. Well, looks like we do not have any carrots left. We're completely out of that. Uh, well, I think the thing that I can do now is I can just eat some rotten flesh. Um, my most important priorities right now is to actually organize my inventory. Um, let me just craft up some uh, swords. I can't... I cannot use this sword anymore. Okay, let me just combine that. Uh, Okay, that's still a very low level of, uh, di um, well, let me just craft that, so, uh, together with the stone shovel. That's quite a low level of, um, durability, so I think I'm gonna actually make two more swords. I'm gonna craft one right now, let me see. Oh, looks like I also lost some stacks of wood, but that's not a big deal, because, um, we have tons of wood right here, so, that's great. Uh, I do also have to make more cobblestone. Oh, wait, hold on. Or do I already have enough? Oh, wow. It's such a pleasure seeing that I have enough cobblestone. Okay, but I do have to get, have at least one stack to craft up some swords. Um, let me make some more sticks real quick over there. Um, okay, so we're making two swords right here. Uh, actually, what I was planning to do is I was planning to... Uh, Okay, let me just take that. I was planning to take my iron sword with me because uh, that's my most powerful sword. And I'm thinking that I should use it in the nether because where else am I going to use it? Um, well, let me get, just get my bow right here. Um, right here are going to be my pickaxes. Um, this is my wood items right over here. Uh, then I have cobblestone right here, some torches right here. Um, stone shovel right here along with... Um, my stone axe. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I need a space somewhere for food, so I think I'll have food somewhere right over here, or maybe I should have it. Oh, whatever. I'll usually have it right here. So, um, for the time being, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna use the cooked chicken that I trade for with the villagers. We do have seven emeralds for that, so that was great. Um. I am gonna go and put my bucket away because I'm kind of scared to lose it. Uh, like I almost lost it last time. Okay, let me just place that. Yeah, this chest is really getting overfilled. I think I should create a separate chest for armor uh, and for like really rare jobs. So that's gonna be another mission of mine. Um, let's see, maybe... I think another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna craft up some more... No, I mean smelt up some more... Um, uh, coal, just so I can replenish my uh, torch supply. I'm gonna need some torches in the nether. Uh, okay, where is our uh, lava right here? Uh, yeah, okay, I don't think this is actually going to work. And I'm not sure, because I think the reason that it did not light is because we had this lava... Um, we had this block right here, and when we have this block here, it can't light, so... Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm gonna have to tweak that a bit. Uh, but I'm gonna do that all off camera because I don't think it's gonna light anytime soon. Um, let me just take some wool. I actually think I'm gonna go there and uh, figure out. Oh, that was scary. I almost fell in. Anyway, like I said before, let me tweak that real quick. Okay, let me see. Well, I think that if it's like that, then it won't be able to light on fire, so... Yes, as you can see, it it, it gave us the blade flame, but wasn't able to light it on fire. So, I, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm gonna put the lava source down underground a bit, so that it doesn't interfere with the area that needs to be lit. So, let me just go and grab my... Uh, bucket really quick and I got a great idea is that I'm gonna dig out a little area okay time to eat some cooked chicken finally we're eating some uh, 
animal foods here and by animal foods I mean food that is um, from an animal like uh, meat such as chicken uh, okay I'll just cover that real quick grab the bucket and this is how I'm gonna go about this I actually kinda forgot I haven't done this in a while but I'm actually going to put the lava source here and it's gonna be lit from right over here and if my calculations are correct okay hold on if my calculations are correct, the lava should light this block right here. It should give us, um, it could probably give us a blade flame right here, hopefully. And there's nothing interfering inside the portal area because, um, the last time the issue that I had is that the lava would flow over here and it disabled the lava, um, it disabled the fire from being able to light the portal because there was lava right here and this area needs to be completely free of any blocks, liquids, or anything like that to light. The other time I had, I think, a wool block right here that prevented it from being lit and by the time it burned up, there was not enough fire to light it, so... Uh, this should work 100%, so uh, in a few minutes I should come back and see a completely functional nether portal. So, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is my flower farm. Uh, this is where, okay, where did that break? Um, this is my flower or slash seed farm, uh, which I make dyes with. Okay, did it light it? Nope. Um, so I basically stand under this block here. I take bone meal. I bone meal under here, bone meal here, bone meal there, and bone meal right there. And then this creates a whole field full of flowers. And then I put a block, um, I put a source of water right over here under this block. And it floods this whole area almost exactly. And then the water ends almost exactly here, pushing it ends naturally. If these blocks weren't here, then the water would still end here because the water doesn't go really far in Minecraft. So, uh, And then I could just run around here and pick up all the items. Um, hopefully someday when I get hoppers and stuff like that, I can make this farm automated by putting some dispensers here that would automatically bone meal this and have a redstone clock circuit on top of there and a dispenser that automatically dispenses water and some hoppers. How did that get here? Oh, wow. A zombie spawned somewhere here. Yeah, well, that's discouraging. I'm having a bit problems with mobs right here. Just some slimes being able to touch me through this wall right here, causing me to die in the lava, and some, you know, zombie almost ambushing me right inside the walls. Um, you have to take care of that, so um, it could flush. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it didn't light like I was supposed to light. Okay, okay, no panic. Um, okay, let's get this fire going because I don't want to lose this fire. Um, place it like here, so hopefully... Oh, the fire extinguished. That's a bit unfortunate. I'm, I'm sneaking here to make sure that I don't fall into the lava. Um, let me just place a bit more blocks right here just to make sure. Uh, maybe possible I'm going to destroy this block here because I don't need any fire right here. So uh, this is take two. We're losing quite a bit of wool, but I have enough. So that's not a problem. Um, so hopefully uh, when it flushes all of the flowers and um, seeds out, I'm going to have some hoppers standing right here, which will collect all the flowers and send them to a central chest. And I could have a daylight sensor. Um because I can get glass from villager trading because the daylight sensor requires uh, glass and uh, nether quartz to make, which I will, of course, collect in the nether. Um, and the daylight sensor will sense whether it's daytime or nighttime. And during the nighttime, the process will stop. But during the daytime, the process will... Um, initialize again so we'll kind of lock the redstone circuit so uh, but that's really end game stuff because I do really need tons of hoppers for that project and that can only be achieved when I get an iron farm so we'll have to look into that uh, okay looks like it's still not lighting I'm gonna go and check um, on our uh, grinder over here and keep an eye on that okay let's hope it drops some redstone because we really need that uh, okay looks like it did drop some glowstone so uh, that's not bad. Okay, we still cannot craft. Uh, we still cannot craft a glowstone block. Let me see. Uh, spiders. Uh, okay, it's not lit yet. Some string here. All the gunpowder here. Some bones here. Um, right over here. Um, I've been waiting for this to light so long, and it's just not lighting. Like this really sucks. 
Uh, okay, hopefully I'm gonna add possibly more blocks right here, so that way I'll have the optimal chances of lighting, and that way it should light 100%. I actually never had this much difficulties with lighting in Nether Portal before. It actually kind of lit by itself the first time I did it, so... Um, it's not really catching on fire as far as, uh... Um as far as the lava inside goes, so that is kind of weird. And as you can notice, I ate the cooked chicken a really long time ago, and I still have this much uh, hunger left, even though I jumped and ran around a lot. And the reason for that is because uh, chicken has a very good saturation, so that means uh, even though a carrot can heal my hunger to a certain point, the hunger will actually go down faster, so... Um, saturation is basically a hidden value that you can't see, and when you eat the chicken, it basically has a higher saturation rate, uh, because once you eat the chicken, you won't, you won't have to eat for a long time, but if you eat the, if you eat, like, something like bread or something like carrots, you will replenish, uh, almost the same amount of hunger, but it, you will get hungry faster, the hunger will degrade faster, if you, if you may, so, um, yeah. I'm gonna go put away the slime ball. It doesn't seem like it's activating anytime soon. Um, okay, here's my slime chest, and wow, I've got tons of slime. Um, as far as going to Nether goes, I'm not really sure if I should actually go to the Nether during this episode or should I wait till the next episode because going to the Nether, I think it's something that oh, there's a creeper right there. I think going to the Nether is something that can be done as an individual episode because it's such a big. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of things in the Nether, so hopefully uh, we could get that taken care of. Uh, I'm going to have a huge nether base, hopefully some sometime in the near future. Uh, I do have enough cobblestone resources for that. Um, I will most hopefully spawn close to a nether fortress, or at least so I can see one. Uh, because I did have some issues of finding nether fortresses in a skyblock world. Uh, I played a skyblock world. Uh, let's, um, let's play. No, I actually did not make a let's play series on that. I did play skyblock, but on that... Uh, Skyblock world. I never actually made a let's play video. Um, I do have a world tour on that So if you want you could check that out. It's somewhere there. I made the video quite long ago, and I kind of um, I don't really play in that world anymore, so uh, In that skyblock world it took me quite a long time to actually find another fortress And I was roaming around very very often like I was just walking around so much And I just could not find it and also um about finding nether fortresses, uh, you can actually find things like diamonds in nether fortresses, so, and of course using diamonds we can make an enchantment table, so that's how I'm going to make an enchantment table. I'm also going to make a jukebox when I get diamonds, uh, maybe a diamond pickaxe, diamond sword, uh, all that good stuff, but I probably won't have that much diamond, uh, um, diamond, uh, to do that, so, what I think I'm going to do is actually explore all of the nether fortresses and one of the hardest things is distinguishing one nether fortress from another i usually use cobblestone to mark the waypoints where i'm wandering around and actually wool is a great way to uh, is a great way for markers and beacons like where I, when i stack up a bunch of wool or say i'm like walking a straight line and i can place wool right here just so i know where to go and since wool can be dyed in many different colors i can use different colors of wool to decode different things so that's something that can be used and that's also one reason why i could have a flower farm going so okay what the heck is this this is just like not lighting I mean, there is lava here. Maybe I should kind of uncover it, I guess. Possibly um, open that up a bit. Okay, I don't really even know what to do now. Maybe I could surround it somewhere right here, possibly. That way it'll have more chances of lighting. Yeah, that's a bit crazy. Um, I do like working with wool, though. I have gotten all of this wool from the mob grinder, so that's great. Um, okay, I guess we'll just leave it at that, so... Uh, let me go see... Now, I would actually like to discuss right now my plans for possibly a future... Um, villager trading system somewhere near my base. 
I'm planning to expand this area quite significantly. I may expand this walled area somewhere over there, create a boat transportation system or railway uh, somewhere right over here. Um, now I'm going to deconstruct this whole village to make sure that the village, the artificial village that I create here does not interfere with that village over there because they can see this village as, um, they can count those doors as a village and then what's going to happen, it's my, it might break my spawner so I'm also going to have a spawner somewhere right here but I think I'm going to have a spawner somewhere over there because I want to have my iron farm here and I, both the iron farm and a spawner will count as villages so I have to to separate them by at least 100 blocks so I think I'll go somewhere out there 100 blocks make sure that there's no villages in 100 blocks vicinity of that make a make a villager spawner make a little tiny well kind of mini base over there in which I can uh, breed villages in AFK so I can get villages then I can have a boat or railway transportation system to my base here in which I can cart them over here for a, for an iron farm and for a trading center so within the base I will have the most necessities and the um, I will have an automatic iron farm just so I can get the optimum amount of iron I don't want to build my iron farm way out there because I don't have to AFK oh 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 it's actually lighting um, so yeah, that's uh, my plans for the future. Hopefully we can achieve that. And uh, one really, really far off goal for me is actually... Oh, crap. Um, one really far off goal for me is actually uh, possibly to... Uh, okay, let's just place a wool right here just to make sure. Um, one really, really far off goal for me is actually to possibly uh, get Wither Skeleton Skulls. Uh, create uh, a gold farm so that I can uh, farm gold from pigmen. Uh, I could go on top of the nether, um, the nether bedrock ceiling, and then I could make a really awesome pigmen farm over there, a uh, gold farm. Uh, I will also collect some wither skeleton skulls, possibly ma make a farm to collect wither skeleton skulls. Um, and possibly in the future, I might also make... Um, a beacon and I will fight the wither I mean it might make an automated wither farm so uh, we have quite a bit uh, to look forward to guys so uh, what can I say stay tuned this doesn't really seem to be cooperating and of course when I'm filming it will never light and probably the second that I stop filming it's going to light because that's just how everything works uh, well I don't really think I could extend this episode any longer this uh, nether portal lighting system is just not cooperating so uh, thank you for watching episode 16 of Minecraft with no super thought survival this is mine Kralix. Uh see you all in the next video uh, and I'm out